is just uh, trying out Final Cut Pro 7 on uh, on a MacBook Retina with the 70 public beta. So let's give it a go. I've got some video ready. Okay, normal stuff. It's the first time I run it, so it's normal stuff that it comes up with. I've updated 7.0.3, that's the Final Cut Pro 7. Okay, that's fine, register later. Uh, I'll just cover up my serial number. That's it, and nice and quick actually on here. DV pal. And cover up again. And there we are. I don't suppose it matters to cover up the serial number or not. Profiling, so I've got a Final Cut Pro. So it's a MacBook Retina 13 inch mid 2014, one point, sorry, i7 processor, 3 gigahertz, uh, 512 gigabytes of uh, SSD, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's loaded up straight away. I haven't done anything special apart from install it, and it looks pretty good, nice and quick, nice and nippy. Fills the screen really nicely. Mind you, this is on. Uh, it's a retina screen, but it is on best for retina, so I haven't got any extra screen real estate yet. Let's go import and files, and I've got something in a USB stick. Let's see how that plays it. Um, I'd like to test out the Canon uh, plugin for importing footage from uh, one of the uh, DLSR. We said that wrong. DLSR, DSLR. Um, so that's some footage. Yeah, good. Input. Out point. And I'll just... What's on my mouse? Put it on sideline. Yep. And yeah, that's good. No problems there so far. Let's walk to a movie. That'll do. So after I finish this, I'll probably blow away Yosemite till the real version comes out. I think it's done it. So I won't bother saving it. And then presumably I've got a compressor somewhere as well. So I installed that. I haven't tried any of the programs, but compressor and Final Cut are the ones I use most. Uh, I can't find that one. Where's that file gone? Documents. There it is. Do it one handed. And yeah, it looks all good to me. All formats. Um, formats. Quick time. H264. Now what's going on with the old uh, Q master? Let's have a quick look at what's going on. So I've got this dual dual course, so presumably I can give it four threads. Okay, so it looks like Q is gonna run, which is what I was expecting Yosemite. It's better than uh, Mavericks, I think. And I'll um, So at the moment, compressor set to one instance. So let me just. Oh, I can't remember how to do this. Stop sharing. Okay. Compressor. Options for that select service change up to four. Four threads. And click on start sharing. That's all nice and easy. And it'll be called what's it? Will's MacBook Pro Cluster. So. Submit. Oh, can I choose this cluster here? I think. All right. Well, I must be able to do that sort of a way. But anyway, that'll still work nice anyway. Yeah, nice and quick. What's Final Cut Pro look like again?
Oops, sorry, didn't see that. Continue. And now I have heard complaints that it'll crash if you choose different resolutions. So let's have a quick look at that. Uh, so let's have a look at what it looks like with. I presume I'm going to have to resize everything. So at the moment it's set for best retina, but if I go for more space, that's looking good actually. I mean, I can use that quite happily. This is on a 13 inch control U. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Twenty eight percent of the screens there. So that's it. I think it works quite well on Yosemite, and it seems to now work on the Retina computer. So I'm happy that hopefully when it comes out for real, it'll still work. Fingers crossed.